So here we are, bucket package number one. I'm gonna unbox it with you on, on camera here. Ever since I decided, so it hasn't really been that long, uh, if you're watching this video at some point in the future, it's the end of May, and I decided at the, uh, around November, when my Amazon account was shut down, that I was gonna start my own uh, retail store. I was already selling my shirts and hats had those available uh, and and so the bucket package was one of the very first things I thought I would create just simply because of the amount of time the amount of obsessing that's gone into creating and using again something so simple like why would anybody care about uh, buckets that you use to wash your cars uh, or, or so many think uh, I know that probably 50% of you are watching this know exactly what I'm talking about. The other 50% that are looking at me like I'm freaking nuts. Uh, that why would, you know, again, why would anybody care about the buckets they use to wash their car? Well, I do. I wash my cars a lot. Uh, the bucket is probably the most important part other than maybe, uh, maybe the, the sponge that goes in it. Uh, when you're washing the car, it's something that, that I use over and over and over and over again. And so I've obsessed over creating this package and I'll tell you some of the some of the reasons why I've chosen what I've chosen um, but but just know that I, I understand that this isn't for everyone uh, this is very expensive uh, this is um, it almost borderlines on you know absurdly expensive I, I get that I understand that uh, just know that I'm, I'm not marking this up some massive amount to get rich off of selling buckets um, you know I'd like to make some money off of it to be honest with you um, there's a lot of effort uh, that, that has gone into to making this available to you uh, and, and logistics of I mean, this is a giant box and making sure that it shows up intact uh, making and, and, and weighing the pros and cons of what needs to be assembled and what doesn't uh, and then then setting up the logistics of you know taking the order and then making sure it gets to you in a timely fashion so uh, just again know that I understand that this is a frivolous purchase, uh, but it will make your life better. If you do wash your car a lot, or if you value uh, the experience of you know, what it's like to wash the car, uh, this, this is it. I mean, this is, uh, this is a combination of the best products in the world. Uh, the, you know, what, like every product in my new store, uh, everything will be fluid. If there's something better that I'm aware of that I like using, I will change everything. I'll change the products I'm using. I'll change the buckets, I'll change the pressure washer, I'll change whatever's necessary in order to keep improving it. And so, so this, like all of the things, will be fluid. So let's get, let's get to unboxing. This is the top. I haven't seen this yet, so I may, after this, may need to make some tweaks. But these, this will drop ship from Grit Garden, Ohio. And in the beginning, so for now, until I take over full shipping operations of this and, and actually stock these, which may not be all that far in the, in, in the future, uh, these, this will be available in full package only. I will not be breaking this up. I never thought I would use this thing so much, my Chris Reeve. I actually use the small knife better more than more often than the, than the larger. So here's our our bucket dolly. Um, what are these things called? They're the set screws. So they're coming in my buckets. Now, one of the things that that makes this more costly is the fact that we have three buckets. Also notice that all three buckets are six gallon. And so to hopefully explain um, my level of crazy, and, and again, I, I didn't do this for you, you know, in fair, you know, to, just to be, to be fair here, I did this for me. Uh, maybe it was maybe a year ago, uh, you know, I'd had, I had a bucket system, had a bucket set up, and I had the original uh, Grick Hard Dollies. I'm gonna show you the, the, the latest version of the dollies, which, I'm sure many of you car guys or car wash guys or detail guys have come across. 
uh, but uh, I decided I wanted to upgrade my system. The, the, these now plastic set screws were metal and they started to rust and so it was time for me to, to, to upgrade. I wanted some better wheels and I wanted some better buckets. And so I went to, so I started with the bucket and I went to uh, you know, every company I could think of online uh, and, and so I ordered 27 buckets. I remember it because of how crazy it seemed at the time. But I ordered 27 different white and different color buckets, different size buckets uh, from six different companies. And I laid them all out in my, you know, my wash bay and I you know, lined them up and then I distilled it down to, okay, these 10 might be acceptable. And then I want to try these five. And so I stuck them in the dollies and tested them out. And this, in my opinion, is the best bucket uh, that I've that I've come across. This is a six gallon. Uh, the manufacturer is uh, Latica or Letica. I think it's Latica. L-E-T-I-C-A. Um, they're white. They're 90 mil. Uh, the handles are super solid. Uh, and as you can see, it has a little extra extension over a traditional five gallon bucket. These are six gallons. And so that's the thought process behind the bucket. The level of obsession that goes into coming up with this simple structure, this initial, you know, bucket choice uh, and, and, and making that choice is, is, um, is you know, the, the foundation of this whole, this whole package. And so we have a rinse bucket that I decided to do in blue. I've been torn on blue versus red. We have a wheel bucket or wheels bucket in black. Uh, and then we have our wash bucket in, in red. So let's talk a little bit about the decal that's on here, or the vinyl that's on here. Uh, so it was very important to me, and man, they did a great job. I should have known the, the folks at, uh, at, 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 at GritGuard, they're, they're dialed in. They, they get me, because they're just like me. Uh, the lambs uh, that, that, that own, own GritGuard I've been talking to, I think they've been nervous about you know, making sure that I'm pleased and our people are pleased, but man, that looks great. So the vinyl, uh, so I've, I've been watching Troy Sowers and Mike Street Speed uh, 717 Mike on, on uh, YouTube for a long time. They're from up where I you know, grew up, that area in, in central Pennsylvania. And so uh, they you know, have a friend, uh, Shane, Shane Weldon from InShade Designs, who, who's done, you know, wrapped Mike's car and made a lot of you know, Mike's stickers and they looked awesome. And so I, I uh, reached out to Troy and said, hey man, could I, you know, could you hook me up with Shane? I've been having a really, really hard time uh, getting vinyl to be acceptable to me. I've been having a hard time getting someone that can make enough of it. So there's this balance between college kid in his dorm room doing it for me who can't handle the volume versus a corporation that just doesn't make it in, in good enough quality. And so I've, uh, I've tested and tried probably, I don't know, 12 different designs. Uh, so these are laminated. This is the same material that Shane uses to wrap, wrap a car. So it should be extremely durable. Um, it should be uh, you know, UV protected. Um, it, uh, it, it's also, um, uh, it was important to me that we installed it correctly so it's easy to install without bubbles. The original design I had, these were all cut out. Uh, and so when I decided to transition to having Shane make my, make my uh, vinyl for me, uh, then, um, then I decided to make the transition and move blue to rinse and red to wash. I don't know. I've been back and forth on which makes sense. So that's the, the vinyl, and the vinyl is extremely durable. And notice I have the vinyl butted up all the way to the edge. Um, this vinyl is extremely different than what you'll find on all these other bucket packages that you see for 150 bucks. So that's a significant cost. And so you know, if we're keeping track of cost, the buckets are two to three times the cost of a traditional bucket because they're thicker, they're heavier, they're bigger at six gallons uh, versus a, either a five or a two and a half gallon like a lot of the other kits. And then the vinyl, I mean, shoot, I think the cost on the vinyl for me is like... <sighs> I want to say uh, you know, three bucks a piece or something like that. And so, you know, if you mark it up a reasonable amount, I, so, you know, they cost me nine bucks. I sell them for 20, uh, you know, stuff like this normally sells it, you know, at, 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 at twice, you know, what you pay for it. Cause I buy a large volume of it too. So 
um, you know, in full disclosure, I'm making a profit on all of this, but, uh, but I, again, I'm not, I'm, you know, I might be making a hundred bucks on the whole package. So it's not like I'm, you know, again, buying all this stuff for, for $16 and selling it for 300. So anyway, so there's the buckets. Uh, the other thing uh, that I failed to mention, the uh, six gallon, the reason why I chose six, so I tried seven, I tried five, I've always tried two and a half. Uh, which doesn't make sense to me. I can get around my entire uh, like GT350, so my larger car would have to go back and fill up more soap, you know, or fill up one of the the rinse bucket because I tend to just fling water around, try to use as much soap as possible. Uh, and so six gallons, I find I can get I can certainly get around my GT3 or my S2000. The Raptor or the Tahoe, I might have to go back and fill it up one more time. Uh, but six gallons is perfect, I think, because you can get you know five five and a half gallons worth of liquid in here. And have it have it work. So we have the buckets. Uh, we also have grit guards. Uh, so we have blue for the rinse bucket, red for the wash, and then black for the black buckets. I don't include washboards. I don't like the washboards. Uh, you could buy the washboard and you could include it in the package if you wanted to, uh, or, or I mean, I'm sorry, you could adapt it to the package. Uh, again, I'm going to be doing this drop shipped, so uh, it's going to be package form only, at least for now. Uh, if you're watching this video long, long into the future, make sure to check out the store to see if I've, I've changed how it's, how it's being done. Uh, but for now, if you want washboards, just you, know, you can just order them up from Amazon or something like that and, and add it to it. I don't like the washboard. I just don't find the need for it. I, I like to keep the buckets open. Uh, and so these are the latest uh, grit guard design. Um, I'm a big believer in supporting the, the originator. I mean, they, the Lambs have a patent on this. This is their product. This is their design. Um, this is what they've created. There's lots of knockoffs. Um, you know, call me a sucker, call me whatever you want, but I want to support the people that, that put the effort in. Uh, and I know many of you have that same attitude in life that, hey, if, if, because if, if, think about if you created a product that's this fantastic and you've continued to adapt it and make it better, um, despite the fact that there are all kinds of knockoffs, I've seen them, this is the best one. Um, I'm a big believer in supporting the originator, supporting the company that, that created the product. Support Rupes, they're the ones who made the polisher, you don't, you don't buy the knockoff, that's just my opinion. Plus, the product is better. Um, you know, in my experience, the, 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 the actual, the real deal, the real product is better. Uh, and so I'm, I'm a big believer in supporting, supporting that. It's not just because I, because again, I could have chosen to go buy it somewhere else, some other knockoff version, included in the package and driven the price down. People would have looked at me a little less funny. Uh, because these things are, you know, 12 or 13 bucks a piece. I mean, you think about how cheap this is, but remember the mold, remember the, you know, the, the, the factory, remember the guy has to build the thing. Uh, and so there's a lot of cost. Obviously, this doesn't cost $13 to make. Uh, probably costs them a few cents worth of product, uh, you know, 50, 80 cents or dollar worth of product. But then when you add in the cost of the molds, the cost of, um, of you know, throwing out a mold and starting a new design, uh, the cost of patenting and protecting your product. Um, all that stuff goes into the, the, the cost of each one of these. And so one thing you'll notice, you know, I know a lot of people like my good friend Larry Casilla will recommend you, you know, you double up. Uh, uh, you don't need, I don't think you need to do that or you don't need to do that with these buckets. The six gallon is different than five, so it tapers a little bit in the bottom. And I was a little worried about this. I didn't think uh, this is a bad idea um, because the grit guards won't fit, but they fit, I think, even better because it pressure fits. It doesn't go all the way to the bottom. It only makes it, you know, makes it 80 or 85% of the way down and then pressure fits and sits in the bottom of the bucket. So I think this is perfect. And because it pressure fits nicely, it doesn't wobble. And so it sits in there and you just stick your two fingers in and you can pull it out. So. I think that's perfect because we get an extra, you know, roughly inch and a half or two inches. You can see the line on the bucket. You get an extra inch and a half, about roughly two inches that the, the, the grit guard floats. Um, but it doesn't spin around in the bucket. I like how it sits nice and tightly, especially for the wheels because on the wheel bucket, it sits, and then when I put all my wheel tools and they kind of sit in the little little cracks of the, of the grit guard, it doesn't slide around, so when I'm rolling it around, I don't have any, any issues with that. So anyway, I could talk about this stuff all day, and I probably will, 
But let's put the buckets aside. Let's get the rest of the stuff out of the box here. So gamma seals. Um, you know, gamma seals aren't, and I don't even use these as often, um, a couple of issues with sealing up your bucket uh, and when it's wet is it can get kind of mildewy or kind of moldy. So um, I put the gamma seals on the bucket and I didn't send them assembled because I wanted, because when you, when you put a gamma seal on, the buckets don't fit inside of each other. And if they did, they would score the awesome vinyl. Man, look at that, it's awesome. Um, so it would score that and, and mess it up. So the reason why I think gamma seals are nice, one, it creates, it cleans up the edge of the bucket. Uh, and two, you know, I tend to travel. And so like I'll grab my wash bucket, throw the gamma or have the gamma seal on and throw the lid on, throw all my stuff in the bucket. Um, also, you know, in my wash bay, I tend to get a lot of bugs and stuff. So if it's going to be a, a week or so, and I'm not going to wash a car after the buckets have dried out, I'll just throw the lid on and uh, that way it keeps bugs and stuff out of the bucket so I don't have to take it apart and, and wash it. So let me show you how to assemble since we're here. It's probably smart to get like a mallet. In fact, I'm probably gonna do that. So that's it. So you just simply push down on it. Now, one thing I've tested uh, that I really don't like as much, um, you could do, certainly do this. I was toying with the idea of sending some silicone so that you could run a bead because this will catch dirt as you're dumping it out. Uh, I did it, uh, I'm not sure I like it. You might wanna try it on your own. Um, you know, the gamma seals are only a, like, I think they're like the same as the grid. I think they're like $13 or $15 or something like that a piece. So the, you could always just, um, you could always just run a bead of silicone there and run your finger across, which I did on my other package that I have outside. Uh, it makes a little difference, but again, I haven't had much of an issue. I'll rinse the bucket out and just kind of spray it real quickly and you know, I get, get all the dirt out. Even if all the dirt doesn't completely come out, I've got a darn grit guard in the bottom of it. That's kind of the point of it. So our gamma seal lid, obviously you would pull this off and ditch it. Just put it on top of the box. And there you have it. So now we have a completed single bucket. And while we're doing this, let's just get everything out of the box. And we'll get this box out of the way. So here's our blue. Here's our plate. Grit guard number one, or I'm sorry, grit guard dolly number one. Our red gamma seal. You know, uh, this is going to sound funny, being as expensive as this box is, and I'm sure somebody who will may say this, uh, but one of the nice things about sending it unassembled is us crazies, you know, most of the people that, are, that buy this are going to love the process of kind of putting things together. You know, and it's simple enough that it's not some big, long, annoying process to do, but I'm sending it unassembled saves cost a little bit. I don't need a giant box. We can box it up and it's super easy to put together. So that was my thought process there. I toyed with the idea because like our pressure washing package, we send assembled. All right, so let's get these out of the way. Let's put the rest of our Gamma seals on. This time I'm not going to bang on my on my fancy furniture. Let's put the red one on. So I'll show you how easy this is to do. Again, you could get a rubber rubber mallet. So all I'm simply going to do. So the wide angle lens, these look a little funky. They look like they're off, but they're dead center. So uh, another thing to mention, this part, uh, 
I'd love to make something that covers that up or buy buckets without it, but the liability of that is just not worth it to me of giving you a piece to, or giving you a reason to, to get rid of that. I, I wouldn't do that. If you've never used a gamma seal before, they seal up really nicely. Let's get that over here. There's a, you can see there's a little rubber gasket. And one of the other reasons why I chose 90 mil buckets instead of you know, traditional, they're 60 mil, was I, I wanted to, um, uh, or, or one of the things I've learned over the years is that when you put a gamma seal on it, and if you have a thinner bucket, they warp. Uh, and so these hold truer to form. So these higher end 90 mil buckets tend to do much better with the gamma seal, especially you know, getting it started. Uh, a lot of times the cheaper buckets eventually over time, well, you know, they just don't hold the shape as well as these, as these heftier buckets. So let's talk about wheels and dollies. And this is where most of the expense comes in. Uh, the wheel and dolly package alone, I mean, each one of these is $40 retail. Uh, and so that adds up uh, and adds up quickly. Uh, so, so this is, and, and when you get your hands on this, this is much like the, the Krenzel pressure washer. Uh, when you get your hands on it and you've decided to spend the money, uh, you get it. So when this shows up at your door and you touch the buckets and you touch the dollies um, and you realize the, you know, the quality, uh, that you, the, where, your, where your multiple hundred dollar investment is going, uh, even though it's a bunch of plastic, it's a bunch of really simple stuff, you'll, you'll feel it, you'll see it, you'll see what the heck I'm talking about. And so one of the things that was important to me was I want smooth quality wheel operation. Uh, and the original grid guard wheel design was nowhere near as, uh, as good as this. Uh, and, and so uh, my original buckets had two inch wheels or two inch casters. Um, I'm including the three inch casters. Uh, and then they, end up, and they ended up needed to, needing to make a, a, an additional plate um, that, uh, that was wider. Uh, so the, you know, the plate is another major expense, uh, $12 or $13 to add to, add to the package. So, um, so the, the, the three inch ca casters necessitated a different plate. But the three inch casters makes it smoother to roll around over cracks and things, especially when the buckets are filled uh, in, in the driveway. So. Uh, when you're assembling, uh, and this is something I just figured out recently, so we're going to put the red and blue buckets together. You know, so they'll these two will work together, and then we'll have the wheel bucket separate or standalone. Uh, and 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 the reason being is I usually do the wheels first, and then I come back and wash the car. And so we have the plate for these two, but not not the not the black one. Uh, another thing I would suggest, a little modification, just like we talked about the silicone, is I would drill, I would drill a hole. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this in the light, uh, but there's like little pie areas, and so I would drill a hole in each one of those, and then one down the middle, uh, and so that way water can drain out. Um, we talked about, and I couldn't fathom why they would want, not, not want to have holes in this. Why wouldn't you engineer it that way? And it's pretty simple. Um, it's they they sell these a lot to facilities that don't that want the spill protection. Uh, in car washing, we want any water that gets in there to run out. Uh, and so this is a huge improvement, a huge modification you can do. I'm not sending it that way. Um, you can just grab a drill. I'm sure anybody who's going to buy this will have a drill. If you don't have one, add that to your list. Maybe I should put that in my store too. <laughs> but but um, uh, anyway, so drill the holes in it. And then uh, another thing to note is just for the buckets and for the placement of the, of the, the vinyl, because the vinyl does, because I did ended up doing nine inch uh, diameter vinyl, so it does cut it off a little bit here. That's why we put it all the way on top of the bucket. So the vinyl comes all the way up to the edge because there is a little overlap on the bottom. And so you don't want these threaded uh, holders. You don't want these 
scoring your awesome vinyl. Uh, and so what we'll do when you thread these, you get these started. So we'll put, you put these, so there's, you know, there's two on the edge and then one opposite. And so you put the two that are together uh, internally next to each other on the plate. That way when we position our buckets, we have it so that they, you know, they sit properly. I just figured that out maybe a week ago, two weeks ago. Another little interesting stat, uh, notice the, there's a bump out here. It's just it's awesome, the engineering that's gone into something so simple like this. Uh, the, the, and just the aesthetics and the, the, the genius of this, these threaded posts go in next to the wheel so they stay in line. It just looks clean that way. And they added an extra bump out so that there's extra reinforcement to make sure these, these plastic threaded bucket holders, that's what I'm going to call them, threaded bucket holders, that they don't strip out or have issues in the future. So each one has three. Now, the heft and weight of the six gallon, these 90 mil six gallon buckets, they tend to, I, I tend to not need to lock these down very hard. Just enough so it kind of grabs the edge of the bucket and then they stay in place. Because I like to be able to pull them out and dump them out. With the, that is one disadvantage to the three, end, the three gallon casters when they're connected to dump it over completely with the two buckets together. It works, um, but I prefer to just pull each bucket out individually, to so slide it out, then dump it, and then go wash up the bucket. All right, so we have those two together. Now our wheels. So one wheel has a brake which you can kind of set the, the drag of the brake if you wanted to, you know, so you could set it so it still slightly rolls. It's kind of hard to, to, to set it that way, but so it's mainly designed to be an on off. Uh, but if you're on a slight incline, you can kind of set the drag a little bit uh, if, you, if you play with it um, so that the wheels um, roll, but not smoothly. So if you have a really angled driveway, all right, so these, each set of wheels, I'll take that back. Each set of wheels, I thought had a single brake. No, each set of wheels has a dual brakes. So there's two brakes. And so let's think about this. Uh, where do we want the brakes to go? So in the center here, and this is another little trick, uh, you can grab a screwdriver. So this is the only tool you'll need to put this together, even if, if you've, you may not even need it. There's this little pin that you can expand outward to make it sit a little tighter if needed. Uh, so if you find the wheels are popping out, um, this set pin um, is designed to make it difficult to, to thread into here, but not impossible. So let's just put these on here and then we'll go back and figure out where it makes sense to put the brakes. And actually, I messed that up because I'm going to put the plate on. We'll come back to that in a second. So let's do our blue. See if it's a little too easy, you just spread that pin out. I'm telling you though, three inch casters are a darn game changer. 
Oh, so smooth, you guys. It's so awesome. All right, so plate. So when we, you know, when I sell a thousand of these, uh, I'm going to uh, I talk to talk to lambs into getting rid of diamond plate. I I despise diamond plate. So what I do is I take the diamond plate, I flip it over and put it upside down. You know, so we just have just the regular uh, stainless stainless section. And so again, notice I put the wheels on here, and so I'm not going to want the brake on this section. I'm going to want, I think I'm going to want the brakes opposite. So you can kind of play with where the position needs to be. It would have been smarter to just do this. Some learning tips to put this together as we, as we go along here. So brake here. here so the brakes will be opposite and then we have our plate that we put into position it's spaced out properly so that the wheels don't get hung up you know because these three inch wheels are big and so you don't want them connecting each other so you can roll the bucket smoothly and so this is where I'm do with my screwdriver this is the area that matters the most especially if you're going to dump the buckets together if you want to spread this this pin out as much as possible, that way it sits in here more, sits in here a little tighter. You know, I'm just taking this is a little bit too big this flathead, so you want a little, maybe a little bit smaller flathead. It still works though. One, two. The wheels go. Oh, right here. So let me show you on camera here. See this little pin? So take the screwdriver. Which is a little too big, and just spread it out. So now the pin sticks out a little bit more, makes the, the fit a little tighter on the on the dollies here. So there we go. So we have our two. So notice our set screws are. We have the opposite one, and then we have the two here, okay? Now, I like to have wash on the left, and so my right, your left. And so we take the bucket, we stick it in place. So here's the, here's the key, and the reason why I position it this way, so that we can, you have room to turn it in slightly if you want to, or turn it out. Um, but you don't want to put it in this way, because you'll grab the edge of the vinyl. And so that's why I've designed it that way. So you want to get these all relatively equidistant. And just enough, I put it in just enough so there's some resistance so it stays centered. So centered in the grit guard dolly, but still slides out so I can dump it. Let's put our blue in place. There's also an Allen on the end of this that you could use. I don't think that's really necessary. I don't like to use power tools with plastic if I can help it, even though these are super sturdy. So there we go. All right, so let me come around and take a look. Again, I like wash on the left, rinse on the right, but that's just my process. Uh, you can kind of do it however you want. And then you can kind of position them. I like to line it up even so they face in a little bit. They kind of 
come together. You could line it up straight, kind of do whatever you want. But notice the three inch wheels, they don't, they don't catch. So there's space, just enough space in between them that they don't catch. You can roll it at whatever angle you want. You can also, these are sturdy enough to sit on. Uh, I don't sit on these. I have a separate stool, but you could put a, you know, the Grickard actually makes a specific seat or cushion where you can sit on this right, together, you know, with, with sit on the buckets and use it as a dolly. I would probably do that with, with the, with the, um, the bucket one or the, the wheel, the wheel setup. All right, let's put our wheels on. I guess it doesn't really matter where the brakes go. So again, with the assembly, you don't need any tools other than maybe a a small a flathead screwdriver in order to expand out those the set set pin on the wheels other than that I mean you may want a rubber mallet to knock on the, the gamma seals but that's all you'll need let me take our bucket we'll do the same thing with this we did with the others position it so you don't jack up your vinyl you know i guess i could have made smaller vinyl i just think that this in trying different sizes i just think that this is the best size and if you center it up in the grit guard or in the, the grit guard dolly a little bit more everything works out nicely back this off a little bit There we go. And there, there it is. The most expensive three buckets you've ever seen in your lifetime. <laughs> and uh, so, so again, I, I, I get it. I, I understand what this means. I understand that I'm in this fancy kitchen and I have these fancy buckets. I, I want you to understand that this, this, I don't take this lightly. You know, I've thought about this a lot. You know, these are the buckets that I want to use. I, I'd be embarrassed if I knew how much, if I added up how much I've spent on trying to find this, putting this together, putting this system together. Uh, if you went, you could probably go buy all this stuff, buy the vinyl for me and save yourself 60 bucks or something. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm wagering that most people would rather just click a button and have it all come because when you added up the shipping of getting all these different products shipped from all these different places, uh, then you, you know, and, and trying to find these buckets in the right spot, you know, and trying to, trying to get all this stuff, uh, it's going to be, save you a lot of time and, and in most cases, a lot of money, uh, just, just you know just buying it from me so that's the gamble i'm taking by by putting the time and effort into making this available to 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 you all that are watching this video so anyway this uh this setup is and and i don't mean to sound salesy but this this is incredible i mean i'm so happy with this uh that that i just had to share it with 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 everybody that 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 was interested uh and and the, i'm guessing others other companies will will try to replicate this if it's you know if once they find out that again i bet you i'm, I'm guessing about 50 percent of you want it the other 50 percent of you want to cut my throat because uh you can't imagine why some you know jerk off would would try to sell you know 300 dollars plus you know set of buckets i don't as of making this video, I don't have the exact pricing yet. I know what the cost is, but I don't know what the cost of assembly and shipping, and I gotta work out the particulars on that. So I haven't mentioned pricing in the video. Uh, go to the link below. By the time uh, I've launched this video, I have, I'll have a description of you know, where, where to get it, and then you can just go to obsessgaragestore.com or go to obsessgaragecom and click on store, and you'll be able to get, you know, get right to the package of pricing and shipping and all of that stuff. Anyway, thanks, for, thanks to all of you for, for buying this stuff, for allowing me to do this, uh, to live this dream of, uh, of being, uh, you know, being a, I'm a, a financial advisor and now I've stopped saying that this is, 
this is um, that my real job is financial advising. But I have two real jobs now. One is obsessing over products, and two is obsessing over you know over the life savings of others. So, my entire existence uh, from sun up to sundown uh, is spent on obsessing over something, whether it's about my kids or my family or buckets or cars. I'm just doing my best to use my unique set of, um, of issues. Uh, I used to, again, I used to think of it as a superior talent. It's really not that. It's a, it's a, it's, I'm using this, this, what could be, uh, you know, could be misconstrued as this, this, this evil, uh, idol worship and using it for good, you know, to connect with other people, to create products, to create systems for people so that they don't have to do it. So that you can go out and be uh, obsessed and be passionate about what drives you, whether it's your business or your family or your livelihood. Uh, and I can maybe take uh, a few hours out of your life, or in this case, probably a few thousand dollars and a few hundred hours out of your life trying to figure out how to do this uh, with all these different products that I'm offering. So I'm hopefully, hopefully I'm able to, to help you uh, uh, save some time and then who knows. Maybe if I'm in your city or you're in mine, we can go out and grab a, you know, grab a bite to eat and, and shake hands and talk about you know, what we're obsessed about. Anyway, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching this. And uh, as always, stay tuned for more crazy. I've got a lot more products, a lot more things that, that, that I use that I think other people will be benefited by. Thanks for watching. what happens when the when the force pulls you back your foot naturally comes off the gas you have to keep